Shikantaza is a Japanese translation of a Chinese term for zazen introduced by Rujing, a monk of the Kaedong school of Zen Buddhism, to refer to a practice called silent illumination or serene reflection by previous Kaedong masters. In Japan, it is associated with the Soto school. Topic. Etymology The term Shikantaza is attributed to Dogen's teacher Tiantong Rujing and it literally means, "...nothing but precisely da sitting In other words, Dogen means, "...doing only zazen wholeheartedly", or, "...single-minded sitting." Shikantaza is the Sino-Japanese reading of the Chinese words Zhiguan Zhiguan, by all means, merely, simply, only concerned with, and Dazuo Dazao, Buddhism, Daoism, sit in meditation. The Digital Dictionary of Buddhism translates Shikan or Zhiguan Zhiguan as to focus exclusively on Taza or Dazuo Dazao as to squat, sit down cross-legged", which corresponds with Sanskrit utkutuka stha, and translates shikan taza from jiguan dazuo jiguan dazao, or kiguan dazuo chiguan dazao with chi, earth god, local god, as, meditation of just sitting, explained as the, Zen form of meditation chiefly associated with the Soto school, which places emphasis on emptying the mind, in contrast to the Cohen method." James Ishmael Ford says some authors hypothetically trace the root of shikantaza just sitting, to vipassana meditation, but, "...this is far from certain." Japanese has many homophones pronounced shikan, and this etymological mix up about shikan jiguan, only, just, stems from a more commonly used word that translates the Sanskrit, samatha and vipayana, names for the two basic forms of Buddhist meditation, Japanese shikan jiguan, concentration and observation, as practiced by the Tendai sect, from Chinese jiguan jiguan. Buddhism keep mental calm while observing the universe. Cf. the MOHE Zhiguan, which compounds Shi or Zhi Zhi, stop, stabilize, samatha, and Kan or Guan Guan, observe, contemplate, vipayana. An instance of the confusion of Zhiguan for Zhiguan is Steve Hagen's claim that Shi Hagen is referring to Dogen's Zhi means tranquility equals Jikan Hagen is referring to Dogen's Guan means awareness equals Guanta means hitting exactly the right spot not one atom off and Za means to sit equals topic origins and development equals topic Silent illumination Just sitting is the term that Rujing used for silent illumination or silent reflection. Chinese Mojiao Mojiao, Japanese Mokusho, which may be understood as the integrated practice of Shamatha calming the mind and Vipassana insightful contemplation, and was the hallmark of the Chinese Kaedong school of Chan. It is not merely just the union of calming and insight, which had already been developed within the Tiantai Buddhist tradition in medieval China. Rather, it is a description of the natural essence and function of the mind. In this sense, it can be traced back to the earliest Chan teachings of Bodhidharma. The first Chan teacher to articulate silent illumination was the Kaodong master Hongzhi Zhengjui (1091–1157), who wrote an inscription entitled "Silent Illumination Meditation: Mokusho Zen Mojiao Chan or Mojiao Chan Mojiao Chan." According to Tagen Dan Layton, this practice is a Nondual objectless meditation, which 
involves withdrawal from exclusive focus on a particular sensory or mental object to allow intent apprehension of all phenomena as a unified totality. This objectless meditation aims at a radical, refined nondualism that does not grasp at any of the highly subtle distinctions to which our familiar mental workings are prone and which estranges us from our experience. Such subject-object dichotomization is understood as artificial, a fabrication. Silent illumination is also objectless in the sense of not seeking after specific limited goals. The ultimate purpose of spiritual practice, universally awakened heart, mind, cannot be set apart from our own inherent being and our immediate, moment-to-moment -moment awareness. A. Charles Muller explains that this method, which involved seeking enlightened wisdom through complete stillness of the mind, became, "...the main practice of the Soto Zen school, where Dogen characterized it by such terms of as just sitting Shikantaza's origins can also be traced back to silent illumination. However, some teachers see it as different from the teachings of Hongzhi Zhengzhui in terms of practice and theory. <laughs> Dogen In the 13th century, Dogen Zenji who introduced the Soto school in Japan, used much of Hongji's writings on silent illumination to help shed light on what he termed, Shikantaza. From then on the practice of Shikantaza has been primarily associated with the Soto school. While silent illumination is in theory a «methodless method», it is important to realize that, the Dogen practice of Shikantaza took a somewhat different approach." The Chinese Chan master Shengyan has stated, that Shikantaza is similar to silent illumination. <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern interpretations Master Shengyan explains the meaning of the term in this way This just sitting in Chinese is Zhiguan Dazuo. Literally, this means just mind sitting. Some of you are familiar with the Japanese transliteration, shikantaza. It has the flavor of just mind your own business, what business? The business of minding yourself just sitting. At least, you should be clear that you're sitting. Mind yourself just sitting entails knowing that your body is sitting there. This does not mean minding a particular part of your body or getting involved in a particular sensation. Instead, your whole body, your whole being is sitting there. According to Merv Fowler, Shikantaza is described best as quiet sitting in open awareness, reflecting directly the reality of life. Shikantaza is often termed a goalless meditation in quiet awareness not working on any koan, or counting the breath. It is an alert condition, performed erect, with no trace of sluggishness or drowsiness. Practice Soto In his work Fukanza Zenji, Dogen writes of Finding a clean, dry place, if possible cool in summer and warm in winter. He goes on to describe the use of a zafu, or small round pillow one sits upon, and the zabatan, or larger square, flat cushion under the zafu, which supports the ankles and knees. He then describes the basic posture—sitting erect, with hands in the lap, eyes cast downward, as the method used by all Buddha ancestors of Zen. Fred Reinhard Dalmer writes, Regarding practice, Dogen counseled a distinctly non-attached or non-clinging kind of action, that is, an activity completely unconcerned with benefits or the accomplishment of ulterior goals, the activity of just sitting or nothing but sitting shikantaza, whereby self-seeking is set aside in a manner resembling a resolute dropping off of body and mind. According to Master Shengyan, 
While you are practicing just sitting, be clear about everything going on in your mind. Whatever you feel, be aware of it, but never abandon the awareness of your whole body sitting there. Shikantaza is not sitting with nothing to do, it is a very demanding practice, requiring diligence as well as alertness. If your practice goes well, you will experience the dropping off of sensations and thoughts. You need to stay with it and begin to take the whole environment as your body. Whatever enters the door of your senses becomes one totality, extending from your body to the whole environment. This is silent illumination. <laughs> Sanbo Kyoden The modern Japanese Zen master, Hakun Ryoko Yasutani says, Shikantaza is the mind of someone facing death. Let us imagine that you are engaged in a duel of swordsmanship of the kind that used to take place in ancient Japan. As you face your opponent you are unceasingly watchful, set, ready. Were you to relax your vigilance even momentarily, you would be cut down instantly. A crowd gathers to see the fight. Since you are not blind you see them from the corner of your eye, and since you are not deaf you hear them. But not for an instant is your mind captured by these impressions. In contrast to this opinion, some of the Zen masters in Lori's book The Art of Just Sitting deride Yasutani's description, giving their own version as the right or correct way to do shikantaza. Rinzai Concerning the Rinzai school, John Dado Laurie writes, A FTER students finish Cohen study, they then take up the practice of Shikantaza. Hakun Yasutani agrees, stating, The Rinzai and Obaku schools emphasize Cohen study, the Soto school emphasizes Shikantaza. But even when Cohen's study is stressed, Shikantaza is not abandoned. All of the great masters of these three schools emphasize the importance of Shikantaza. Complementary practices In Japan, Vipassana and Shamatha are sometimes used in addition to Shikantaza as complementary practices. See also Abhavana Jogshan Turiya Padartha Abhavana Notes <laughs>